good morning children i hope children you all have done your homework related with addition chapter so today in this session children we are going to start the addition of three digit numbers by grouping in tens and ones children in your previous class or in class 1 you have learned the addition of two digit numbers by regrouping so in this class children we are going to learn the numbers of two digit three digit by regrouping okay how to add three digit numbers by regrouping so <clears throat> let's start let us add 263 and 424 okay so if we break these numbers 200 six tens three ones okay then this number 400 two tens four ones okay so first we uh, take the numbers which are at 100 place then we'll take the number which are at tens place then we'll take the number which are at ones place so here 200 plus 400 okay then we'll take the numbers at tens six tens two tens okay then again ones three plus four ones okay then we'll add all these numbers four plus two or two plus four gives six then six hundred six plus two eight tens three plus four seven ones so we'll get the number six hundred eighty seven so when we add these two numbers we'll get the total sum of six hundred eighty seven okay so let's move on to exercise three point five So let us add, but this number two hundred fifty plus three hundred thirty seven. So we'll divide this number in hundred tens and ones. Okay. So here, let us start. Two first we'll take this number, two hundred one tens five ones. Okay. Then we'll take this number, three hundred seven tens three. Ones. Then we'll take the hundred hundred numbers. Okay, two plus three. Then we'll take the numbers at tens. Okay, one plus seven. Then we'll take the number at ones place. Five, three. Then we'll add these numbers. Two plus three, five. One plus seven, eight. And five plus three, eight. Okay. So, what is the total sum? Five hundred eighty-eight. So, by adding two hundred fifteen plus three hundred seventy-three, we'll get five hundred eighty-eight. Okay. Let's again okay do the other sum also. B one three hundred twenty one plus three hundred forty five in the same way, children. We are going to do this sum like the previous one. Okay, then we'll add move to vertical addition without carrying. Okay, we'll do the addition over here, but no carry is there. Okay, so we'll take the number five hundred sixty three and four hundred thirty five. So first we write it in the form of hundred tens and ones. Okay. See this, and then we'll follow the steps. So first, while addition, children, we'll first we'll add the numbers which are at ones, then tens, then hundred. Okay, so three and five they are at ones place. So we add these numbers. Three plus five, we'll get eight. Okay, then tens place six plus three nine nine. Then we add the digits at hundred place. Five plus four nine. Okay, so we'll get the total sum of nine hundred ninety eight. Got it, children? Then we'll move on to exercise three point six. Okay, so add these numbers: two plus three five, six plus three nine, five plus three eight. The total sum is eight hundred ninety. Five. So do rest of the sums in the same way, children. 
okay now we'll do here addition uh, vertical addition with carry okay and this we have to take the carry over so let us add children 349 and 237 okay again we write here in the form of 100 tens and ones so first we'll add the digit in ones column okay 9 plus 7 16 okay so see here 16 so we write here 6 and we'll take carry over here okay then we add the numbers which are tens place 4 plus 3 and this carry okay we'll get 8 then we add digits at hundreds place okay so 3 plus 2 5 okay so we'll get the total sum of 586 okay children so do the exercise 30.3.7 in the same way children okay so here let's do one sum 9 plus 7 16 by adding 9 plus 7 we'll get 16 we'll take the carry over here okay then 5 plus 6 11 11 plus 1 12 we'll take carry over here yeah, there is no number so we assume 0 over here so 2 plus 1 we'll get here 3 because if we add 0 to any number children the number will be same okay so <coughs> we'll get the total sum of 326 okay so in the same way children do other sums also now we'll move on to addition stories okay so in previous class we have also learned about these addition stories now these addition stories are the uh, stories in, in which involves the situation around us okay so let us see the first situation 462 people they were sitting in a hall okay and 231 people joined them so how many people are there in the hall now okay so first how many people were there in the hall 462 then after some time 231 people join them so we'll want to know the total number of people in a hall so number of people in a hall 462 number of people join them 231 so total number of people 693 so 693 uh, people are there in a hall okay So here children, construction of addition stories. How we construct these stories. Okay. So here 23 plus 32. So let us frame a question. Okay. So there are 23 boys and 32 girls in a class. So how many students are there in a class? So in this way, okay, we can frame a story. So next again. By using this same number, we'll write another story. So there are 23 red flowers and 32 yellow flowers in a bucket. So how many flowers are there in a bucket? Okay, so in this way, we can use these numbers to frame many of the stories. Okay, so let's move on to exercise 3.8. So now let us find the sum in following edition stories. Okay, so number one is a sports club had 85 members, 17 more joined them. How many members are there now? So the question is that in a sports club, 85 members are there and after some time, 17 members joined. So how many total number of members are there in sports club now? So first we write here numbers at 100,000 ones. Okay. So the number is 85, so we write here 8, 5, because no number is at 100's place, and then 70, so write here 70, okay, then we'll add these numbers, so 7, 5 plus 7, we'll get 12, okay, we'll take the carry over here, okay, and we'll add 8 plus 1, 9, and 9 plus 1 is carry, 10, okay, so we write here 
1 because no number is there so we assume 0 over here okay and by adding 0 to any number the number remains same okay so 1 we write here 1 so how many total number of members are there in a sports club 102 okay so in this picture we will do this exercise okay so do all these sums in copy what it children so this is all for today children we are going to learn about the estimating sum in our next session okay and do the exercises 3.5 3.6 and 3.7 in your copy and send it through the whatsapp okay so do all the sum and copy and then we'll when we'll meet in next session we'll learn about the estimating sum so thank you children goodbye